Hello and welcome to my channel again. So today I'm just going to show you how to do a simple use case diagram. And my example today is going to be ATM example, um, how to use an ATM machine. So firstly, I've opened up Visio um, as I'm going to be doing on Visio. And I'm just going to put our system boundary, um, just drag it across into the middle. And what I'm going to do is, you can put a name here, so I'm just going to put um, ATM, use case. Always have a title on your um, use case diagram. And I'm going to find out how many actors I really need. So I'm going to put one as the customer, um, one as a maintenance technician. And one as a stacker who stacks the money, and one for the bank system. So I'm just going to put one here and just make sure it's aligned to that one. Just so what I'm going to start with is basically naming them. So this one's going to be the customer. My apologies for the spellings. This one will be the bank system. And as you can see, this is not always a person, it could actually be a system itself as well. Um, this will be the maintenance or the technician. And this one will be the stacker. So I've done all the actors now and now I'm just going to put in... Um, the comments, so... What does a customer do? A customer withdraws cash from ATM. Um, I'm gonna just this. This is the easiest way I find it. Um, it's just to kind of before putting any um, associations, I like to just put them um, all. So what else? Um, customer can actually withdraw crash, deposits, check the balance, um, print many statements. And so on. It could be so many things. I'm just gonna do a few so just to give you a kind of an example. Um, and then of course I need the connectors so basically what I'll do is I'll just put it from there and it's always to the hand or the arm and then it's just the same again so literally And if you really think about it, withdrawing cash, um, that's not something a bank can really do, a bank system. It can withdraw cash and put money in. So to be honest, this is something that could be done either way from the actual the bank system or the actual customer. Um, so what I'll do is I'll connect it from both sides because to be honest, this is something both of them can do. This is a very simple one, so it could be done in more high level or pretty much more simplified. If there's a use case in particular you want to see, for example, um, how it's done, for example, I don't know, um, a shopping system or anything in particular please let me know i mean i'm happy to create one and show you how it's done um or something we could do together possibly so what does the maintenance do to atm machine to be to be honest most of the time it's um 
to perform a routine check on the machine just to make sure it's maintenance or routine check whatever you want to do um, that's what it does to the ATM all the time so it's just to kind of show you our visual aspect of what the ATM will do and who will do what to example and the stacker what would the stacker do stacker would stack up the cash once it's finished or close to finishing ensuring that it's always filled so I would say fill ATM with cash sure it never runs out you know and that's it pretty much so it's all it's all it's about is a drag and drop all it's about is a drag and drop so this is just kind of giving you an indication of how a use case would look like from a simpler vibe Way. Also, I can show you an example of how a, um, um, a, a bit more high level, this is how an uh, online shopping system would look like. So you've got non-members as well as members of online customers. They will log in. Password area, if they can't actually um, log in, uh, verify the password, for example. Um, they would search, browse, add to cart view the car, edit the car, make a purchase, update the shipping details, choose the shipping, go to sh checkout. And for example, a non-member would register first. Um, the payment process would be to purchase the item. Warehouse clerk would f fulfill the order. Re and then the warehouse manager would report the inventory and manage the inventory. So this is just kind of a more of a high level kind of way of showing a uh, use case diagram but there's so many ways that you could do it and there's so many ways that can be actually presented so if you would like any kind of help or assistance with use cases i mean i'm happy to help this is just a simple kind of way of creating a use case um like i said so this was just to do a atm simple atm use case and thank you very much for your time